We've had a lot of fun doing the puzzles at the end of the storybooks we've been doing, so we thought we'd do a video of just puzzles today. So we're going to do a few jigsaw puzzles and some word searches. Now this puzzle is of a puppy lying on the grass. The puzzles after the stories have got nine pieces. That's three pieces across and three lines. Now the puzzles we're doing today are just a little bit harder and they're 12 pieces so that's four pieces across and three lines. So we'll see how we get on and as always the easiest way to start a puzzle is by the corners. So here we go, top right corner. Remember a corner has two straight sides. So now we're going for the top left corner. Here we are. And the bottom left corner, that's some grass, isn't it? And so the next one's going to be the bottom right corner. There we are. So now we need to join up the edges. So we're looking for straights again, straight edges. There we go, go. There we are, the right middle. That's making some more grass. And the left middle. Oh, I can see a foot. Now we're going to go. Now we're going to go up to the top. So that's another straight edge. It's got two choices where it can go, but it seems to fit there. And so the other one with the straight edge and the dark goes up there. So now we're looking for two with straight edges and grass. So there's one. Doesn't look like it fits there, so we need it along. And that's it. So there's one more straight edge with grass on. There it is. And now there's two more in the middle to make up the puppy. There we are. Oh no, it doesn't go over there, does it? That's to make the paw. And then I think the puppy's face is going to come there. That's lovely. Now this is the picture from one of the books in a previous video that we read. The Jumbo Giant Sausages. If you remember, they were very milky sausages. And again, this is a 12-piece puzzle, so it's a little bit harder. So we'll start with the corner pieces. So top right again. And another corner piece with two straight edges. Top left. And another corner piece with two straight edges. That's the bottom left. So there's one more, which must be the bottom right. There we are. Good. Now we need to join up those edges. So we're still looking for straight edges. That one looks like it goes on the left. That's it. And that one on the right. So there's two pieces with straight edges on the top and two pieces on the bottom. <coughs> that looks like a top piece because the line's at the top, straight edges at the top of it. So which of those two does it fit on? Um, yeah, that one makes the clock. And another straight edge, I think that's going to give the dog a face. What's the dog called? Doggo, isn't it? There we are. So, two straight edges for the bottom. Here we are. Which one of those two places does it fit? No, not that one. 
Let's move it across. Lovely, that's good. So there's one more with a straight edge. That finishes the word sausages. And so two pieces for the middle. That's now this sausage was called six if I remember. That's his face. And one more piece to give him his body. <laughs> Round of applause. Well done. Now this puzzle is from the book Jumbo Giant Sausages, another book that you've read on the channel, about six sausages who jump out of the frying pan and end up being Doggo's dinner. So we've got some words from the story. We've got uh, the sausages were n called by numbers. So we've got some of their names here. We've got four, one and six. We've also got bark, bread, laundry, doggo and sausages. So the first word we're looking for is four, the number four. So I'll underline that one in a nice orange colour. And we'll have a look in the box and see if we can find a word that looks like that. There it is. Four. That's a good start. And our next word is one. So we'll underline that one in light blue and see if we can find that one. It's right next door to four. There next door. Very good. And our next word is six, another short word. So we'll underline that one. It's in that nice purple colour. Now it's only a short word. I wonder where it's hiding. There. Hiding in the middle of the row. That was more difficult, wasn't it? And our next word is bark. In the story we heard doggo bark. So we'll underline that in green. Now, can we find it in the box? Mm. There, underneath one and four. And our next word is bread. The naughty sausages got hold of some bread and made sandwiches, as I remember. So we'll underline bread in pink and see if we can find it in the box. Mm. Oh, now this word isn't going across. This word's coming down. There we are, going right down to the end of the box, bread. Oh, sad. And our next word is laundry, because those naughty sausages were jumping all over Mum's new dress and made it all greasy. So we've got laundry. Let's underline that. in red and see if we can find it. There it is, above one and four there. There we go. And our next word is doggo. Doggo the dog who ate the sausages. 
So we'll underline him in uh, very pale pink. See if we can find him hiding. There he is between bark and six. Doggo. It's a good name for a dog, isn't it? I like that. And our last word is sausages. That's a long word. So we're going to underline that one in brown for sausages. Very appropriate. And can we find it? That's going to go right across the whole of the box. Sausages. There. Well done. That's all of the words. This puzzle comes from the book Can Grunt the Grizzly Learn to be Grateful? And this is the picture of Grunt having a lovely big bear hug from his mum. So once again, it's a 12-piece puzzle. Working hard today, aren't we? We'll start with those corner pieces again. And there they are, two straight edges up on the right-hand corner. corner with the two straight edges. And the left bottom corner. There they are. So that just leaves the bottom right hand corner with the two straight edges. Good start. And now we're going to join up the edges straight edges on the outside. Oh, look, there's Mum's face. And that one's over there on the right. And that's part of her body over there on the left. So two straight edges on the top. The line of the picture. No, it doesn't go there, does it? That's that's good. So there's one more at the top there. And fit in nicely. Good. And so we've got two straight edges at the bottom. So, oh, that one fits in there nicely. So there's another one. Got to go there. And then two to finish the picture. So one has got, oh, there we are. That's got Grunt with his mum's faces. So that slips in there. And then one more. Well done. enjoyed doing those puzzles together. I made them using apps. The Word Search app is called Word Search Create and the Jigsaw Puzzle one is called Puzzle Maker for Kids and both the links are in the description box so you can go and find them. Happy puzzling!